This will be another very short video in which I teach you the ID attribute. So the ID is an attribute that can go on div tags. And what, what I'd like to say here is that instead of a picture of a monarch butterfly on all of these, I would like for this one to have a picture of an egg, this one to have a picture of a caterpillar, a chrysalis, and this can stay as the adult. I don't really feel like I need an image for more information and butterfly life cycle, even though I do have div tags for those sections. So the first thing I want to do is take a peek at my images. There's the adult I've used. There's the caterpillar, the egg, and the pupa, which is actually in here called chrysalis. So how do we get those in? Let's go to our index.html. And the first thing I want to do is give each of these divs an ID attribute. So on the egg on line 18, I'll put ID equals, and then in between the quote marks, I'll just type the word egg. So I'm going to give each one of these divs ID equals, I'll call this cat because I don't want to type the whole thing. On this one, ID equals Chris. And on this one, ID equals adult. So now that I've given these each some IDs, now I need to uh, go to my CSS and style those IDs. So I'm going to be taking from this because I don't want that image everywhere. I want a different image on each div. The way you style an ID is by considering that the ID is a hashtag. So I'll type hashtag egg and then my curly brackets. Now inside the egg, I would like the picture of the egg. So I'm going to copy this. Actually, I'm going to cut it and put it here. But instead of adult.png, I would like egg.png. I'll do the same thing. What is after the egg section? Cat. So hashtag cat. The hashtag, again, represents the ID attribute. And this is going to be cat.png. What's the next one? Uh, chrysalis. Hashtag Chris. And then paste. And let's make this chrysalis. Oh, this was the pupa. I should have renamed it, but I didn't, did I? And then the last one is the adult. This is a great way to be very specific. Oh, that one's the correct one. All right, let's save. And now you can see these images that are fitting. It'd be nice to have a little space around that image. Let's go up to that div tag and do some padding, let's see, <coughs> padding right on the right side of the text here. We want some padding. And I don't know what size these images are. Let's take a peek. The butterfly might be, no, the cat is probably the biggest one. It says it's 150 px wide. So on the div, I'd mean by padding to be just a little more than that, 155px, save, there. Now, no matter what size I open it, it'll keep the text five pixels away from that. Okay, in the next video, let's wrangle in this text.